First and last is an adjective pronoun. This expression is used to emphasize that a person is the only one, the first and the last. But Trinitarians are more than happy to give this expression a different meaning. Let's see why. In the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 6, we read, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last, and there is no God besides me. So, according to the Bible, Yahweh is the first and the last. This is correct. We know that Yahweh is the first and the last God. But the New Testament, the collection of scriptures revealed after Jesus came into the world, also uses the title, the first and the last. Wait, title? First and last is an adjective, not a title. I wonder why you are claiming that the first and the last must be a title. When I saw him, I fell at his feet like a dead man, and he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one, and I was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death and of Hades. I am the first and the last. That's one of God's unique titles and the living one, and I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. You see, if you're familiar with the book of Revelation, you know that this is Jesus talking to the Apostle John. Jesus calls himself the first and the last. Why would a mere prophet call himself the first and the last, when, according to both the Bible and the Quran, only God can truly call himself that? The reason, obviously, is that Jesus is claiming to be God. So that was your agenda, to say that first and last is God's unique title, so that Jesus must be identified as God. Well, your argument is based on assumptions, because the Bible doesn't teach that it's a title. Jesus is the only begotten Son of God which means that he is the first and the last begotten Son of God. First and last stands for being unique or the only one. It's not a name, it's not a title, it's an expression. And nowhere in the Bible does it say that only God may use this expression. So, to all my Muslim friends who've been told by your apologists that Jesus doesn't claim to be God in the Bible, you need some better apologists. You need some apologists who are honest with the text they're dealing with, even if they don't agree with it. As for the Christians who are watching, if you get into a serious discussion with a Muslim, I can almost guarantee that at some point, your Muslim friend's going to ask, where did Jesus claim to be God? And the Bible commands you in 1 Peter 3.15 to be prepared to give an answer when people ask you about what you believe. I am not a Muslim, but a Christian. But I would gladly take the challenge against David Wood to show that Jesus certainly did not claim to be God and that Trinitarians are a false church. I wonder if David Wood does what he preaches, namely... And the Bible commands you in 1 Peter 3.15 to be prepared to give an answer when people ask you about what you believe.